All right, guys, saddling day. As you can imagine, my stress levels through the roof as per every year. Um, I did decide to give them a bath. No reason to dunk them. Most of these babies are two and a half, three months old. Um, I moved the settling cage over for the second rounders because they're starting to come out. Um, and I just set up my ladder, a little landing board, and slowly allowing them to come out at their own will. Um, it is about four o'clock which is perfect timing for me. There's at least at least three and a half hours of daylight, which I won't keep them out that long. I'll keep them out for as long as I can, two, two and a half hours, and then call them in. I have not fed them today, so that should make it nice and simple. As you can imagine, my stress levels through the roof as per every year. Uh, it never really gets any easier. Um, let me rephrase that. It does, it does get a little easier every year. Uh, understanding and knowing that, that the majority are in fact not good um, I don't mind losing as many. I just don't want a catastrophe. I don't want a hawk to come by and scare them and then lose them for that reason. Um, but we'll see how she goes, guys. Um, I won't keep you too much longer here. I'm going to watch the birds for the next few hours. It's really nice outside. It's a nice sunny day. So I think it should be okay. It is March 15th, uh, a little earlier than I normally use them. But this week's going to be kind of rough weather, uh, rainy throughout the weekend. And really cold so today seems like a really nice day as long as i can afford, avoid the hawks i think i'll be okay i won't push any outside the ones that want to come out can come out uh, the ones that don't that's fine as well um, like i said and i don't use old birds uh, if you plan on using old birds let them out first let them get that exercise out of them that energy out of them and then release the the first round youngsters so we'll see how she goes guys well guys it's been about an hour we're still doing good uh, as much as I didn't want them to go airborne, uh, they did go up a couple times. I think they just kind of scared themselves. Uh, one bird ended up landing on the settling cage and made a little too much noise. Uh, and they kind of went everywhere. I had a few land in the trees. I had a few land on the grass and the how on top of the houses. But uh, they all came back down, so it wasn't a big deal. Um, it wasn't like a hawk where a hawk would be around and they'd be freaked out. So, so far we're doing okay. Um, the birds aren't very strong. They are struggling to keep... Up. Uh, most of them will land wherever they can just because they can't they can no longer sustain themselves so that's it's a really it's a it's kind of a perfect time to let them out they're really not that strong on the wing so I'm not too afraid of them getting too far um, I did have one land in the woods right at the very edge on a stone and I didn't bother them um, I made that mistake before where I'll run down there real quick and trying to figure it out and I just make end up making the situation worse so in this case I didn't bother him at all he just kind of came right back up uh, landed on the cage and everything's been fine since um, I removed the water I'll give them another hour hour and a half as long as the weather stays nice um, it's pretty calm for the most part and then we get a slight gust of wind I'm not sure how many miles an hour and it's a little worrisome but not bad definitely not a windy day it's just every so often every few minutes or so I get a little wind you can see how there they go there they go come on guys I said I don't know what scares them but they kind of just go everywhere and they usually come right back because I said they're not very strong so oh I got one in the woods and that's not good come on guys ah it is what it is we'll see what makes it at the end of the night I'm not going to do a head count. I'm just going to get a, a quick overview and go from there. All right, guys. All right, guys. We got one stubborn one that doesn't want to go in. Everybody else is in. I've checked the trees. I've checked the wires. I've checked the house. Everybody's in except for this last stubborn one. But he'll go in here in a minute. I'm not too worried about it. I think it was a success, guys. They did go up a couple times, as you guys noticed on the last clip. Uh, but no losses. Nobody got lost. Nobody went too far out of bounds and they're all in uh, they responded to the call right away which is awesome they came right to the drop to the bumpers there come on guy I'm trying to film and watch at the same time he's literally my last one there come on oh yes awesome sauce they are in it was a good time out guys I'm cold sun's about to go down let me give another perspective on the trees. Make sure everybody's in. I think we're gold. I'm going to count them. I think I had 26 in there. I'm just going to count to make sure that nobody's left out before I close the trap. And I think we're good, guys. I think for the first time out, we avoid... I did have two red tails come by. Um, and they weren't very interested in the birds. They were more interested in themselves. So I think it's mating season for them. Um, they flew right over. 
no bother. The birds weren't too terrified of them. I was more scared, I think, than the birds were. Um, but they flew right over, no issues. So I'm going to call this one a success, guys. Hope you guys have just as much luck on your first time out. I know it's a little early. The old timers used to say, don't let them out until there's leaves on the trees. But in my case, I want the second rounders to have a few weeks in the settling cage before they go out. So they'll be moved over into the settling cage starting tomorrow. Uh, and then they'll have that time. So this week, I'm going to work on the first rounders, get them out every every day if I can. I know towards the weekend is going to be kind of crappy weather. Uh, but every day that I can let them out, I'm going to let them out for a few hours and uh, go from there. This is uh, this is when the fun starts, right? All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one.